right. Well, of course, Chicago. Chicago famous for a lot of things. Chicago, of course, famous around the world for its great blues music. Yeah. You guys got the blues music here. Well, while I was here, I thought I'd try to learn as much about the real Chicago blues as possible, so I decided to go to an authentic Chicago blues club and learn the blues from an authentic Chicago blues man, Little Ed. I learned a lot. Take a look. This is Blues on Halstead. It is one of the authentic blues bars on the north side of Chicago. I want to learn the Chicago blues. I've got about 20 minutes, then I'm going to a day spa for uh, some aromatherapy. So I think 20 minutes is enough. Let's do it. You know, Blues on Halstead, one of the great, authentic Chicago blues bars. And uh, all the legends have played here. Billy Crystal. Uh, of course, uh, Bo Derek right there. And nobody lays it down like Bo Derek. And uh, nobody sings the blues like local ABC reporter John Garcia. You'll be crying in your beer when he's done. This is very exciting. I'm sitting with Lil Ed. Hey, Hi, Lil Ed, how are you? How are you doing? All right. You've been playing the blues all your life, is that right? All my life. There are a lot of people that would say that to really play the blues, you have to have gone through a lot of hard times. Do you think that's true? At some point, there's a time where there's some sadness going on, yeah. and that does bring out the blues. Because I was worried I wouldn't be able to play the authentic blues. Nothing bad has ever happened to me, <laughs> ever. Grew up in a nice suburban neighborhood outside okay. Boston. My dad's a doctor, mother's a lawyer, mm -hmm. uh, nice head of hair. Nothing bad. How do I play the blues? Well, you just, you just think about all the good stuff. That's oh, happened. okay, so the blues can also be about good stuff. Oh, it's about good stuff. It's really? So you can write a blues song about how my car gets amazing gas mileage. <laughs> All right, so this is good. This is good information I have. It the real be, Chicago blues, that's would, what I want to learn. Well, you can learn it. It's yeah. not impossible. Right. Well, my baby done left me. And she ain't coming back home no more. Now, when you're singing a song like that, does it help if I jump in with things? Like, my baby done left me, and I jump in with, like, I hear your baby left you. That's right. <laughs> and then you say a little something. So let's try it. You sing the same song, and I'm going to try and jump in. My baby's gone. I heard your baby left you. And she won't be back no more. Well, you don't know that for sure. She might come back sometime. You can't assume <laughs> something negative. Yeah. My baby left me. You already mentioned that. You said she left you. We got that information. She won't be back no more. Again, you're being very negative. She might come back at some point. Maybe she left something behind. She's got to come back and get it. You I stay up all night, people. Well, maybe she try ambient. <laughs> that dog is howling. Well, that can be annoying. I think they know my baby's gone. How could a dog know that your baby left you? Dogs don't know that kind of thing. That's kind of weird. That doesn't sound right to me. Yeah. The dog is howling. You mentioned the dogs are howling. You already said that. If they, if they know my baby's gone. Okay, you're a very repetitive guy. <laughs> Just say what you're gonna say, but don't keep repeating it. It's very annoying. Yeah. You know, I, I think she was feeding them. You think she was feeding the dogs? They won't be eating no food no more. She's been feeding the dogs, they're not gonna eat food. I, you think you lost me. <laughs> Why would a dog stop eating food? <laughs> so is that helping you this song, you think? Or? This guitar here is, uh, this is Pamela. Yes. This is nice. Uh, and this one is uh, Tonya right here. Tonya. This is my guitar. I've had it for a long time. Its name is Admiral Huffington. <laughs> really? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I always say, like, it's time to whip out Admiral Huffington. Well, that's, that's... Which can sound dirty sometimes. Yeah. Ed, you have a great style. I want to compliment you. You, you look good, and uh, I want to get a different look. This isn't gonna work. No. What's wrong with this? I got the blues hat, but I've also I'm a, I'm 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 a lover. I'm gonna play the blues for you. I'm gonna do my best. Check this out. <laughs> the glasses got to go, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> this means. Pay up. That's right. The music ain't free. This hat's saying, I'm a badass and pay me. 
What do you like to do that really gets the crowd going crazy? Well, I, I like to do my back bends. Show me what you you're talking about. Get on about. your knees. You know? Get on your knees like this, yeah, right? Yeah, get on your knees like that, yeah. And then bend over backwards? And bend over backwards, all the way back. Okay, is it uncool to have some sort of uh, orthopedic pillow? I don't think that's at all. Okay, so that's not a good idea. <laughs> no. All right, so this is a back bend. I'm doing it right now, and yeah. I have to tell you, a lot of things are tearing right now in my yeah. groin area. Is yeah. that a problem? <laughs> that could be. Okay, and actually, yeah. there's actually blood filling my jeans right now. Yeah. Okay, I need a rest and some water, <laughs> and I need some shiatsu massage. Now. Okay. What okay. else do you like to do? Oh, I like to walk on my toes like that. Oh, my God, look at that. That's incredible. Look at that. Can you play and do that at the same time? Yeah. I could do that if I was being supported by two uh, union <laughs> guys. Is there any kind of moves I could do? See, what I've got is i got kind of a, a scarecrow. Look at that. It's like a liquid, they call me the liquid snake. <laughs> like, you ever do this? I call this the, I go rowing. You ever do that? No, I and don't. play at the same time? That's Sometimes that. I, when I'm playing, I like to rub the guitar all over my body in an erotic way. No, Gets the no. ladies and some of the fellas excited. You like to sometimes jump off the stage, is that true? Yes, I do jump off the stage, you know. Ah. That's a big, that was hot. You got a lot of height there. My problem is I'm very cautious. <laughs> Hold on, it's coming, solo coming. Chappelle, little A!